Hello Taurus darling, I'm Laurel and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. So this will be for the week coming into uh, the second, third week of January coming into the weekend coming into the next week. So, so far from what I've seen, um, let's see here, wow, there could be some type of addictions or ties that's going on with you guys. I'm going to see. Let me shuffle this uh, deck first and then let's get started. Spirit, I welcome you into this reading. So, Taurus, my darlings, I'm having troubles uploading these videos for some reason with YouTube. So, I'm thinking I might go live here pretty soon and just start doing the live uh, feed from this point on. Because it's giving me really shitty, shitty time with the downloads. So, I did not mean to have you, uh, you all wait so long. But, I'm here now, baby. So, definitely dealing with a Gemini. Or you could be um, just having some love with the Leo Sagittarius Aries here. But definitely some love that's going down overall. I love it, Taurus. Someone could be, you know, showing you love, giving you love. But you see how he got her hold, how he holding her up, though. So. Uh, you guys are having a hard time. There could be uh, some type of unionship, which is really weird. I'm going to have to clarify that with the three of Charles is in reverse here. Um, you're not really trying to celebrate the situation or there couldn't be any celebratory situations. Because this person possibly uh, doesn't have very much um, structure with the emperor here. Or you see someone who is not, uh, you see their qualities. When the emperor comes out, you're able to see, you know, why this unionship isn't being celebrated. Because someone doesn't have structure here or someone is trying to gain structure in this relationship. Definitely Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Definitely Gemini here with the lovers or a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Someone is really feeling like they've had to put up their um, put up their guard towards this. Um, it could be that you guys are coming to a final decision with the Two of Swords here. You're coming to a major decision with the Sword energy here. Definitely uh, Leo Sagittarius Aries and Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, but someone is wanting to give you some passion with the ace of wands Ooh. it could be uh giving you some type of passion as far as um it could be sexual energy it could be energy that's exchanged um i definitely feel like someone is wanting to offer you something of some sort with passion could be possible cancer Pisces, scorpio i think you guys got this same little page of cups in your last reading so you could be dealing with definite cancer Pisces, scorpio but someone who's kind of um young-minded as far as what it is they want to do with their emotions but they're willing to deliver messages as well they're willing to you know text back and forth give you love off make an offering of some sort so definite uh definite cancer Pisces, scorpio or leo sagittarius aries that's trying to give you um that's trying to give you some type of some type of offer could be of emotions could be a passion as well but it seems like to me that's all that they really have to offer so far interesting so you're definitely um there could be some celebrations that you guys are really that's surrounding you all with the three of cups um definite celebration possible virgo taurus capricorn with the knight of pentacles here so there could be some things that um you could be dealing with a Pisces, but there could be some serious things that are being hidden and not revealed to you with the moon card here. Um, definitely making two decisions with the two of wands and the two of swords. You guys are getting down to the business. So you could be dealing with um, someone you're going to have to make a serious decision on. Uh, it could be that you're contemplating how it is you mentally reflect with this person or how it is that this person brings you passion. Uh, definitely Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here, but you're going to come to a major decision. Now with the moon card here, you could be dealing with a Pisces, but it's definitely saying to me that you guys have something that is going to need some truth being revealed to it. It could be that someone is being dishonest around this or someone is not being honest around you. Um, 
but there's going to be it's surrounded by some type of celebration or feeling like you guys are coming out of some type of celebration could be possible third party situations here uh third party situation doesn't necessarily mean um someone is cheating especially it'd be different if the three of swords came out but it could mean that there's also some interference with other people's energies or there could be other people's energies but you guys are really trying to figure out um what exactly is going to happen when the truths aren't revealed so if you see with the two of pentacles here someone is trying to hold, they're both trying to hold the coin hold on to the coin so either they're trying to do some equal give and take or they're trying to see who can pull the pentacle first so it could be that you're dealing with someone um who could be pulling things from under you or you could be trying to pull things from under someone but i definitely feel here that with the moon card there's some energy that you guys don't know about possibly um definitely someone who has uh lunar cycles in their chart or something with the lunar dealing with the moon possibly um but i do feel like there is some deceit that's surrounded by this it could be that someone is trying to have equal give and take and someone else is trying to just take so and definitely with the pentacles it could be that you're trying to share something but uh you don't know whether or not it's even you know fair and square so with the king of swords in reverse here someone um is kind of off mentally or there could be some um mental reflection towards something that has them kind of mentally off their rocker they're not really feeling like they own this shit now with the knight of swords that just came out um definitely someone who's feeling like they're feeding this beast um even though they're not really getting the intellect that they feel like they deserve in this situation um definitely gemini libra aquarius in this reading and also um leo sagittarius aries um so far from what i've seen it just feels like you're kind of feeding into something you don't know where it's going you don't know if this person is going to bite the hand that feeds them if they're sharing if it's equal give and take um but i really do see here that you know someone feels like they're feeding this beast or they're feeding into something that they can no longer tolerate and, and if they do they will get their hand cut off um but also it could be that they're not willing to offer um they're feeling like they're left out in the cold but you guys are coming out of that even though the five of pentacles is in reverse there you're still feeling like you kind of want to rest around in this situation but you aren't really receptive to this and with the four of charles is in reverse someone is definitely coming out of mental reflection um could be cancer pisces scorpio but you're feeling like this is a never-ending cycle with the world here the world in reverse um to me it could be that you're feeding this monster you feel like it doesn't it's not um in the manner that you would want it to you know you don't think that this is like love especially if this person is very secretive with the moon card here or there could be secrets surrounding by this situation but you're definitely going to come to some type of final decision to me it looks like the more that you give to this situation the more that you'll feel like you know this person is biting the hand that feeds them uh it could be with mental um back and forth conversation it could be in mex uh text messages but i definitely feel like you guys are having to share something with this person or you feel like they're not um either generous or they're not genuine so it looks like you guys are contemplating on that um also with these twos here definitely a couple definitely some strong couple that's going on but it's also like someone who's having some topsy-turvy shit they're willing to offer you possible love and sex and things like that but as far as the emotions they're kind of young-minded and immature with the page of cups um also could be some celebrations or something surrounded by celebration someone's coming out of a mental uh rest and because this did pop up on top of the three of cups so there could be some type of celebration that you're, you know, having to take a step back and look and see if this is required or not. Um, definitely with the Six of Wands, someone has built up their guard towards this situation. Um, but I definitely feel like 
someone is going to gain structure from this or they're going to gain some type of um, information or um, some type of respectability uh, with this person or you're trying to see that in them with the emperor here because this the emperor is the top gun okay so like if you see him he's got structure he's a father figure um, but he's really trying to gain balance and maintain balance with his structure that he's built in his home so it could be that you're trying to gain structure but you also kind of have your defense up towards this because this person could be having a hard time bringing you emotions or feeling like it's equal give and take Taurus so please do tell what's going on darlings Someone could be called away from this situation as well. Called away to mentally reflect. They probably have their guard up. But it seems like your emotions could be uh, getting the best of you. Or it could be getting the best of them. Not being able to uh, understand what's really going on in your head. I definitely see that by them mentally reflecting. So, just seems like a lot of immaturity here. Um, and not only just immaturity. that They can only offer you, um, you know, a little bit of substance here and there. Um, definitely Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and also um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries so far. But the Emperor is here, so you're really going to gain some type of structure. You could be talking to an older person as well to get some type of balance or information um, about this character, especially when the Emperor comes out twice. Um, you could be dealing with a father figure that's really like, okay, sweetie, this is what we're going to do, you know? Um, but I definitely feel here that you guys will be analyzing the seeds, the seeds and the fruit that you've grown. You could be looking out elsewhere as well, trying to, you know, have a um, covert thought about it. Could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, like I said. And then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be money that could be coming your way. Or um, I could see this as once you gain your balance and your structure with this person, you will start to see the fruits of the labor coming out of this box. Uh, it could be that someone is trying to give you an offer or uh, you could have money on your way to you, but I definitely feel like this could be one of your main concentrations on uh, this matter is um, feeling like the Ten of Pentacles moment. Uh, it could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but someone who's really not there intellectually, he's really off, like his mental is not, um, you know, available. They could be very sharp in their words, uh, very rude as well with the King of Swords here. Um, but then you also have someone who's trying to offer you emotions with the King of Cups. So it could be that this person wants to offer you emotion once you speak to this older person or you speak to someone that can gain structure or you'll gain structure from the situation. Um, but I really feel like you guys... You're just wanting that equal give and take from this person with the two of pentacles here. Um, and to me, it looks like you're going to try to gain some type of balance. But there's definitely love here. Um, someone is trying. They're trying. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they are ready. Definitely a lot of secrecy going around this. Uh, the moon card came out twice. Now listen, honey. If the moon card came out twice there's something going on there's some hidden things that you don't know anything about or you will soon find out so it could be that there are pisces as well or there's definitely some hidden things that are uh that you're trying to figure out and you will eventually figure out very very interesting so i think once you get clarity on this situation or clarity with this um father figure i think that things will start coming into into um an end especially not necessarily an end of some sort but it'll be coming to an head um especially with the two of pentacles in reverse so someone is making a final decision based off of this situation and you guys have some sort of secrecy surrounding by surrounding this could be with that cancer pisces scorpio or that virgo taurus capricorn or that Leo Sagittarius Aries, but I really feel like you guys have a lot of secrecy that's going on and there's a lot of emotions that are being displayed at this point, but you're going to come to a major, major decision. So Taurus, my loves, 
tell me what you think down in the comments below i really hope that you all get the respect that you deserve from this person and let me know what these secrets are because i want to know matter of fact let me pull one more card just because i want to know what's the secret about definitely leo sagittarius aries with the page of wands um someone who's wanting to deliver you messages short messages here and there someone who's young as well so definitely be on the lookout for that um interesting so it could be some secrecy about a leo sagittarius aries that you'll come to soon find out or there could be some secrecy that's going on in this situation that you will find out soon so i love you guys i will see you next time